my go-to makeup tutorial with the Give It To Me Straight ColourPop palette. Very well loved. Still available online. ColourPop's having a sale for Labor Day and pretty much having sales all the time since the uh, quarantine. But I'm going to be using that and uh, doing a makeup tutorial. If anyone saw me on Facebook, sadly the um, shadows I used in the Facebook picture, profile picture, several people liked. These shades from the Ulta Beauty Collection are not available anymore. So I'm not going to be recreating that, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit similar because this palette has um, a similar, like, rubyish, plumish shade as this. So I'm going to be doing that um, in the corner, the same, to get, like, the same sort of look. And um, I'm going to be showing you how to do that and uh, um, doing a tutorial pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a, um, an Ulta Beauty haul. Um, keep looking out for that. I have an Ulta Beauty order that will be here in a day or two. I got for my birthday, some more stuff. Uh, because the 21 days of beauty is going on right during my birthday, so I got a few things. That'll be coming up sometime this week. So first off, for the makeup tutorial, I'm going to be using Professional Pore Primer. And I'm going to be putting that everywhere I have large pores, which is right in the middle of my forehead. Like the top parts of my cheeks. Oh, by the way, I've already moisturized and used some of this vitamin E oil on like my problem where I get dry spots on my eyebrows, so I've already done that. So I just put this on like the whole top part of my cheek, anywhere, if you, you can use any kind of primer that works with your skin type. But sadly I have dry skin along with arch pores, which doesn't make sense because I've never really had acne much, but it's a little annoying, so I do that just so the makeup goes on more smooth. Next off, I have my go-to um, foundation, Stu Smashback Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydrating Foundation. It's an oil-free foundation in 2.15 Skin Tone Light Undertone Cool. This is really good. It's in the $30 price range, but for me, it's lasted like a while, and um, it like literally looks good. You can sweat, blot it off, and still look great like the rest of the day. So. It's pretty good. So I'm just gonna pop this on my face and uh, oh by the way, happy Labor Day everybody. I don't know if I'm getting this up tonight or another day, but I hope everyone has had a good Labor Day or had a good Labor Day weekend. I've got my Real Technique sponge, and I'm just going to get, I've got a big mirror here, but I'm going to get a little mirror because I can see a little bit closer. I had wet this already. These Real Technique sponges, I believe this is what it is because my sister got this for me. I think that's the one she says it's good. It is really good, and it's only like, I think, four bucks. And, uh... Only like four bucks and it's really good. Oh, just got foundation all over my shirt right there. I have to wash that. Also this week I am doing my TJ Maxx haul, officially, and showing what I got for my birthday as well. My birthday was on the 6th, so it was Sunday, so it was yesterday. Definitely got spoiled for sure. I got like good gifts and it was my 30th birthday, so it's weird. Um, 30 isn't old, but it's definitely not in your 20s anymore. But I don't feel old, I feel young. A lot of people from our church are like, you're still young. For sure, but and right now I don't have a concealer I love, and I don't really 
have all that bad of dark circles. So I'm not going to use any concealer. I'll just put a little bit of foundation under there. But if you have dark circles or a concealer, which I just ordered a concealer from Ulta. I'm going to start using, but I don't really have one I live right now. So I'm literally just going to use foundation under there. Well, if you get to a medium to light, darker skin tone, unless you want a big, like, highlighting area, it literally makes no difference if it's a kind of coverage. Make sure that it is, like, not creasing. I'm just going to, like, bring it up a little bit into my eye. Make sure that it's not creasing. And then I'm going to use... Fit Me Maybelline Powder, loose finishing powder in light. Now light is like, almost like a medium light, and I'm just going to be using this powder brush. I'm not even sure what brand this is, it's just, I'm sort of a cheaper brand, but hey, it works good. Probably something you can get like five below, it was like uh, eight or ten pack of ones. First I'm going to do like my eye. And underneath so that it doesn't crease after I make sure to pat out all the creases. And then I'm just going to like put that all over. Um, I always do that to make my pores look more smooth. And I had a physician's formula when I tried to rebuy but I could not find it. And I was seeing it on YouTube at, um, at TJ Maxx. So they must have discontinued it which is like a complete bummer because it was this one. I was going to use it today but then I couldn't find it online. Physician's Formula, the healthy powder. So I didn't want to show it in case, you know, people want to use any of these products or no one would be able to buy it. So I'm going to have to try out a different Physician's Formula powder. Even though it is on the pricier range for a, uh, you know, for a, um, anything really. Even though I did just get a buy and get 50% off bronzer from them and the tanner one and in uh, a little bit darker pink so I'm pretty excited about that for sure so I've literally never tried much by physician's formula it was something as a kid granted we weren't like really poor but we definitely didn't like, get whatever we wanted but I always wanted like physician's formula stuff because it looked so good and uh like literally I it's like my mom was like no it's too expensive so I can never get it because it's always in the like 12 to 15 dollar price range so now i'm gonna do get my um bronzer brush this i know what this brush is this is an elf bronzer brush flawless face brush which you're finding like different ones every week or so a different elf brush at the dollar store this like um cream brown um cream blush or blush brush stippling brush was i got there the other day an elf brush Sipple brush, so keep a lookout for that. It's only like one at a time, but people are getting different ones because, like, this one is more of the professional one. This was five bucks at Ulta, but these are usually at least three bucks, and I got it at the dollar store, so it's kind of cool. For my bronzer, I'm gonna be using Ulta Beauty Natural Glow Matte Bronzer, um, in the shade tan. Because I can't use the lightest bronzers. I'm usually like one step up because I'm like not super, super light. And I do get tanned in the summer. So this is a really pretty like, it has a slight orange cast to it because my skin is more neutral to warm. But it's not like super orange, but it has that like glow like you put in the sun. Make it go all the way up to your hairline. Make sure you get up there too because like that's where the sun would hit. So that you're not like, you know, like a white strip there, which I have done before and I like have blended up. I've not just like get it all the way up. So just do it kind of like under where your blush would go. I don't really do contour. I definitely would if I had a higher cheekbone, but I don't. So I feel like it just looks kind of muddy. So I'm, I definitely don't really do that. I mean, I have a new hair, but I have to look in this mirror because I... I can't see that great because I need the um, glasses to see it further out, so let's make sure that's not like a huge line. Also I had a L'Oreal bronzer that had the tanner option, but 
I have a bad habit of randomly leaving things like in other bags and then I like randomly find them and I'm like, oh, there you are. I haven't seen you in like a few months. I was like really bad at unpacking after stuff. Once I finally need it again or once I find the pack. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in natural beauty it's really dark looking and at first when i saw it i'm like oh my goodness i thought it looked terrible because my mom got it for me last year at the alta beauty sale these were had a day where they were 50 percent off and these do last on your face like i'd say if you were in it all day about half the day like quite a bit longer than most blushes and i'm just using this stippling blush because i find i'm putting it right on the opposite cheeks and going like about halfway up I find it shows the blush better. A lot of my other blush brushes are almost too similar to a powder brush. And then I don't even see the blush on my face. I'm just like, oh, I don't see it. It looks not too blended in. So I've been liking this. And I don't, I'm not a big cream blush person. So when I got it, I was like, why do I get that? I don't usually do cream blushes because I'm afraid it's going to be too icy on the sheets or have their pores. So I've never really tried cream blushes. But I feel like this looks really pretty. And you can like control how much goes on really easily. And then I'm just gonna go over that a little bit with the powder brush without any more product on it. Make sure it's like blended. And then I'm gonna get into, I usually do eyebrows last because then you're not like getting, um, uh, like stuff up, like over it like when you're doing eyeshadow so this is the give it to me straight shadow palette and this is still available at ColourPop and when it is 25% off which it is for Labor Day it's like I think $13 but ColourPop's having mad deals because everyone's trying to be able to buy for quarantine because no one has as much money as they used to so they're trying to get people to buy stuff so first off, I'm going to do it similar to the look I did yesterday for church. I did a selfie and a decent amount of people liked it and said it was pretty. So I'm going to try to do something similar. So what I did yesterday, and I already kind of um, made sure to powder over my eye once I put powder on. I took this Tantastic Bronzer, or you can do any bronzer in your shade, and I took a... Um, this brush that has like two on each side or any brush that's similar to this and I think this is a Luxie brush this is like a, a smaller to medium size um, fluffy brush and this is more it's kind of fluffy but it's a little bit of a packer so I just took it on the fluffy brush I took the shade well first I took the tan bronzer and like got it in there a decent amount and then I went into the shade um, BS which is this shade it's similar to the bronzer and I dotted that a couple times to make it a little bit more pigmented and then um, I just did that like all in the crease and made sure it like showed but just kept doing that until I got the color I wanted just kind of tapped back and forth and made sure it was blended, but kind of like went to the middle of the eye. Um, out, uh, out, um, to the outside of like the crease until you got like the blend. About like that. And so I just did that. Those two more shades on both sides. And, um, and like I said, you don't have to use the BS shade if you're a lighter. There's also the shade Truth Hurts over here. If you're a lighter skin tone, you can use that one with your bronzer and it's lighter. Because this has like a little bit of a golden shade to it. And just make sure it's blended and kind of go to the middle of your eye. Make sure it's blended. And then... And then I take like kind of get the powder off I need a color changer 
Someone comment down below a good color changer where it just kind of like gets the powder off. Kind of get at least some of that pigment off because I want to still use this brush. And I'm going to use Truth Hurts in the corner. Um, with, uh, with this fluffy brush, crease brush, and just do a little bit up, like blending it out a little bit, barely. And that's the crease, and then I'm pretty much done with the crease. Then let me just make sure this isn't like covered in red or something. Um, take like any brush you have similar to more of a fluffy packer, um, or a packer brush would work too. I'm going to take the color that's similar to the one I wore yesterday in the bottom corner right here called Be Blunt. And it's similar to a burgundy-ish, like, plumish, uh, um, metallic. And I'm just going to get a decent amount of that and just put it on the outer corner. And the Alta Collection was a little bit, like, more metallic. But this one does not cling to wrinkly eyelids, which makes it, in my opinion, better, even though, even though it isn't as, like, metallic as the other one. It still does not cling to your texture, so I do think that I'd rather use it just, honestly, just because of that. I'm just going on the outer edge, like, kind of to the middle on both sides. And this is a good fall or Christmas look because it's darker colors without being like black and like super super. I guess it does cling to your dress, your arm of the eye a tiny bit, but not near as noticeable as the other one. Now I'm just gonna flip it kind of over to the other side. Well, first I'm gonna get the color up a little bit. Granted, I need more of these brushes because I really do like them, having the different ones on each side get it off a little bit. And then I'm going to go into a lighter shade, into the shade um, Candid, which is right above it, right here. And it's kind of similar to the other one, but the other one was more of a lilac shimmer. This is more of a, um, like a pinkish mauve, like, shimmer shade. I'm going to put that right in the middle to where you can see the color and it almost shows up more copper but it's really pretty. Then I'm going to put this one down because it has a lot of metallic on it. I want to make sure the lighter shade shows through so I don't want to use that one anymore. Then what I'm going to do is take any kind of a dense brush or a fluffy packer, whatever you have. This is just one that came in that like um, black roll pack of brushes. And then I'm going to take a, a metallic, not metallic, a um, cream white shade, this one, or any cream white shade you have that has at least some pigment. And I'm going to do, I did the inner corner in a matte white. And that looks really pretty because it kind of, I don't know, I feel like Tati Westbrook on YouTube used to do stuff like this with matte going into like a metallic or like all mattes like that. It's really pretty. Which, should anyone used to watch her and like really miss her on YouTube? She did. She was like the queen of reviews and she has like had all this drama she was tying into and then she just disappeared. And uh I'm just gonna Actually, the Alta Collection is a little bit of a more pigmented light, but I'm not going to use that one. Even though I might, because there is a similar Alta Collection shade. I like the Alta Collection white better than this one. It's more white. This one is in the shade Coconut, but all it is is a cream matte white, and Alta Collection shadows are, I think, four bucks. These little ones are... Around four bucks or so, and they want they're on sale right now. I believe I two get one free of a lot of Alta Collection stuff. 
So you can get one really similar. See how that's more pigmented? You can get one the same exact thing, it's just a different um, name. So you can look if you're interested. And then once I do that, I'm just going to go back to my pink blushy shadow and I'm going to get back on, on the Packer brush that um, moth kind of shade and just go over the middle a little bit more make sure it's blended because that kind of cancels out a little bit too much barely tap, like, tap it a couple times and I'm kind of barely and I'm taking the other side and kind of blending that And then I'm going to take this kind of a dense brush and I'm going to just go under the eye eyebrow. I don't know if you're a frosty under the eyebrow girl or a matte, but I just always love the look of matte. So I'm just kind of blend that down a little bit to um, shade it. And that kind of makes it blend more into the... Uh, That's pretty much the eye look. That is the eye look. If you like eyeliner, you can add eyeliner. I'm not a big eyeliner person because um, I have like a half hooded lid, so you can't. You have to get like the skinniest one possible and be really careful because I don't like having like an all black lid because my lids are not very big. They're like half hooded. So I'm gonna go in with this Monjoa Big by Lancome. Um, I just have a mini, but I ordered a full-size one that was on sale on Friday for $12.50. And I believe Sephora is having 50% off a lot of stuff. So that's not on sale anymore for $12.50 instead of $24. But, or $25. But you should check out Sephora if you're interested. It is so good. And granted, I have pretty curly lashes, so I don't usually curl them because the way my head is tilted, it's kind of hard to curl with, like, a tilted thing. So I don't usually do it, but... If your lashes are more straight, I'd curl them. And this goes on so easily. It literally doesn't run very much. Like, I haven't really had it run at all, and it doesn't... It's got a dot on my lid. Sorry about that. If you ever get a dot on your lid, just leave it alone for a minute or two. Let it dry. Get a clean spoolie, like, on an eyebrow pencil. And, uh, this, it just literally scrapes off. So that is, like, have, you can get free ones that are clean, like, from places that do testers, which I, do, I guess I'm not sure if they have those anymore, or you can just get them in, uh, um, like, brush kits. You used to be able to get clean ones, but they're not really doing samples anymore, or, like, testers because of COVID, so... I don't even know if they, they probably don't even have those out anymore. That's right. Got a few extras in mine. And this is my look when I'm trying to, like, have the time to do it, you know. I do, like, for my birthday when I went to Olive Garden, I did more of, like, Like an overall, like, about 10 minute look. Something like that is way easier, but this is more like, I have the time, or I want to, like, put some time and make it look nice. You know, convention, especially stuff like that, because I'm a minister's wife. So, I definitely don't do this all the time, but I like it. I think it's fun. And, uh, I'm just going to put some of this Burst Bees Mango Chapstick on before I put an eye look on. And I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. And we're doing lips and we're done. Usually it's good to put chaps on a few minutes before you do a look with your lips. And on um, my eyebrow pencil I'm gonna use today is the Ulta Beauty Sculpting Brow Pencil in Onyx. And these are like 10 bucks at Ulta right now. And it's like a big one. And I'm going to try this one. I just did a new one by Maybelline 
but the shade is like a tiny bit too dark for my liking like it looks good but I think this one has a slight cooler cast to it so I'm just going to try this one again and I know these are available so Okay, here at the TV, my, I don't know if you can, but my husband's just watching Netflix. We're just having an easy day today. We're having a fire in around an hour. I guess I'm just keeping my makeup to look pretty for a fire and look pretty for my husband, I guess. But no one's coming but us. It's just the two of us, which is nice sometimes, but we're doing cold bananas over the fire with s'mores and... I love all these. You'll be finding that out if you keep watching this channel. I'll probably just I'll probably do Aldi hauls. I'm gonna be doing Aldi hauls. Um, I'll say I go to Aldi's or Sam's Club usually, but um, it yeah, that's more cool. I feel like that blends to my shape, my shade better. So I do like that. So I haven't used this one in a while. I was using a different one, so I like that one better. So sweet. I'm glad with that, because that's like, not going to use much. I'm just going to do the spoolie a little bit, like blend it just a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're doing a fire, and then I got some jalapeno kettle chips, which I try to eat healthy most of the time. Like, if I don't, it's like a treat. I don't, like, eat badly on the regular. So when I get chips, it's like a treat. So we got kettle cooked Clancy brand potato chips. So I'm pretty happy with that. Because we're like jalapeno addicts, like we, he like has it in the garden and he even put like finely chopped jalapenos a little bit in his spaghetti sauce and he put, I think he, it tasted sweet, I asked if he put honey in it, but he said no because he used honey a lot in our cooking and um, it was so good. I love making baked spaghetti, especially with leftovers, with like cottage cheese and like chopped up pieces of mozzarella and stuff or whatever so there's the eye look that is pretty much done that's done and um i'm just gonna do the lip what i've been doing lately with the lip which isn't stay all that long but if you're just like gonna be around family or going somewhere where you don't need an actual liquid lip what i did in my video is i just any chapstick that goes on more balmy I really just layered on the chapstick, and then I took um, this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Granted, this isn't going to get on your face, but it's not going to stay like liquid lip because it's a cream in the shade um, Stockholm. And the you don't have to do the lip, um, chapstick, but it makes it sheer out more, so it actually. Um, Because it, it doesn't, since it's not an actual, since it's not an actual liquid lip, I feel like if it's not sheared out a little, it doesn't cover as good as a liquid lip, so I feel like it doesn't look as good. And I do not own a uh, face mix, I just bought one. So that's it for my makeup look. I uh, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys are having a great Labor Day. In about an hour, we're gonna have a fire. It's just look beautiful for me and my husband because <laughs> I'm not going to be right today. Well, I hope you enjoy this go-to look with the Give It To Me Straight palette are featured and the Snacks Packs Studio Skin 24-Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, which my mom loves too, and so does my sister. Uh, give it a try and see you later.